I want to um, I want to ask you about some controversial remarks you you made. Controversial in the sense that they produced a lot of um, fuss on social media in in, in, in the press uh, amongst people in uniform. Um, I, I I want to well I, I want to find out what what really was going through your mind at the time of the, um, the, the collapse of, of, of our NATO uh, operation in, um, in Afghanistan. And yes, of course, you know, we are having to collaborate with them. Um, they now provide uh, the security on the ground in Kabul, uh, and we are going to work with them in order to be able to conduct the evacuation that is now underway. And how do you feel about collaborating with the enemy when um, they have carried out such atrocities against um, UK military personnel over the years? I think you have to be very careful using the word enemy. Um, I think people need to understand who the Taliban actually are. And of course what they are, a disparate collection of tribespeople, as President Karzai put it to me only yesterday, they're country boys. Uh, and the plain fact is that they happen to live by a code of honour and a standard, which has been their standard for many, many years. It's called Pashtun Wali. It has honour at the heart of what they do. They are bound together by a common purpose, which is they don't like corrupt governance. They don't like governance that is self-serving. And they want an Afghanistan that is inclusive for all. So I think rather than talking Except about... Except women. The, what? Except women. Um, well, again, I think we have to wait and see. I mean, I don't know what they mean. We can't support the, the way that they treat women. We, we, surely. Well... I think you have to listen to what they're saying at the moment, and I think you have to listen to the facts on the ground. I'm saying they that are have definitely, to abide they are Sharia definitely, law. yeah, and I'm not saying that's anything that you and I would approve of particularly. I'm just but clarifying I do, that. I, absolutely, but I do think that they have changed. I think they recognise that over the course of the last 20 years, Afghanistan has evolved. They recognise the fundamental role that women have played in that evolution, and yes, they at the moment will undoubtedly say that they want to respect women's rights under Islamic law, and that will be a Sharia law. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they won't allow them to be involved in government and in education and in medicine and those things that they need them to be involved in. So I think we have to be patient. We have to give them the space to show how they are going to step up to the plate. And whether or not we can work with them will very much depend upon how they treat all Afghans. On around the 16th or 17th of August, which was about three days after Kabul fell to the Taliban, um, one was in a very difficult position uh, because, of course, um, a, a febrile media uh, was looking for tabloid headlines and wanted to say, well, why are you working with the enemy? Well, why did you feed them tabloid headlines by going on to Sky Television and um, because telling, telling, telling Kay Burley we should sit down and have tea with the Taliban? Because one's reaching out to multiple audiences. And if you are in command, to his book, if you are in command of a thousand soldiers on the ground, and if you are trying to evacuate 15,000 Afghans, you have to be pragmatic. And the upshot of that was that we did not want to message to the Taliban that they were the enemy. Rather, we wanted to message to the Taliban that we were prepared to cooperate at that stage. Now, certainly, if things had gone differently, one would have spoken differently about it. But at that stage, we didn't have a choice. The facts were as they were on the ground. And that was your job as Chief of Defence Staff or politicians? Certainly, um, I think it's all our jobs. And certainly, I have been involved in that part of the world for 20 years. And my words are listened to by the Pakistanis who are important to this and by the Afghans. And therefore, I think you know, I had a role to play in messaging. 